Hi, I'm Kirsty Mickey from Nao Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a holographic, holographic, yes, diamond. So I have a tip here, and we're going to do it on a tip. First of all, I'm going to do like a um, a vertical fade. I couldn't figure out if I was doing a horizontal one then, but now I'm doing a vertical fade for you. First of all, with these gorgeous colours, which are this purple, and this pink, and this kind of tealy kind of blue. I'm going to do a coat of this down this side, the purple, and the blue down the other side, and I'm going to put the pink in the middle. You don't need a massive amount of product on your brush. I'm going to keep swiping down until we get a bit of a blend. And then you can take your gel brush and blend that even more. You're going to do two coats of that. Give that a cure. So I'm going to repeat that process. So I'm going to do my outer colours first on the outside. So I'm just brushing up and down, you can see how that's softening that blend. Make sure your brush is dry. And then they're going to come down the middle as well. That's going to sort of clean that up and make it more brighter. So you've got that graduated fade. I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure that now. What I'm going to do now, I've tested this out already. I don't need to put the um, Urban Graffiti Top Coat on. I'm going to apply the Holographic Powder straight on top of the colour. Now it's got barely any sticky layer. It's got a little tiny sticky layer, but I mean like barely anything. And I'm just going to rub this on. And it doesn't really matter where you put it. As long as you put it you know, where you want to have your diamonds because we're going to do a few of them so you sort of just pop them anywhere you want them really i'm going to do like a big one and a small one and i think i'm just going to cover the hole now <laughs> <laughs> i think i got carried away with how beautiful that looks what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a little bit of black acrylic paint. What I'm going to do now is map out where I'm going to put these lovely diamonds. Because diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, diamonds are forever. <laughs> Sorry. Forever, forever. First of all, what you're going to do is do it, do a triangle. So there's a triangle. Looks like um, Pink Floyd. Oh, it does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to come up. It's an 
angle and you're gonna join these two together. Yes, just like that. And then you're gonna do two little markings here. And that's where you're gonna draw from or paint from. It's gonna be a little marker and it's gonna be a marker for two places. It's gonna be a marker for this here. Go down to a point. And here as well. And that's also giving you a marker to go up here. Create another triangle. So you can see it taking shape now. And then your last lines are here. From that corner to that corner. And that corner to that corner. Point there. That is the hardest part of this. I'm going to do another one here because why would you just want one diamond when you can have two? What we're going to do is use the mega gloss. You can also use um, the Urban Graffiti top coat as well. But I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use a detailing brush. And what you're going to do is cover the diamond in the mega gloss. Now you need to do right up to the edge and try your best not to go over the edge. I'm going to cure that first one, but I'm going to flash cure it just for about 15 seconds so it doesn't move because I don't want it to run and move any bigger than the actual shape itself. Now we're going to do the bigger one. So you can sort of get that middle done first and then all you need to concentrate on is the edge. Pop that in the lamp. I'm going to full cure that now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another layer just to raise that up a little bit more. You don't have to worry too much about going right to the edge with this layer because you've already covered that. I'm going to do this to both of the diamonds. I just like the fact that they can be that, you know, a little bit domed, I suppose. Now it's time for magic. I'm going to wipe over with... Wipe it over with some gel residue wipe off solution. You can use acetone as well. Um, gel residue wipe off solution is just a little bit kinder. I'm going to go over the top of this and seal it with the Urban Graffiti top coat. Make it 
all nice and shiny. Your diamonds will be still going to be raised. Oh, look how cool they look. They look awesome. Gonna pop that into the lamp. So it looks cool like that. I'm just gonna add a few stones just because I want even more bling on. I'm gonna use some of the mega gloss to seal these on with. pop them into the lamp because I made the diamonds raised that gives even more dimensions to them and that's why the holographic even looks even more berry even more berry <laughs> dad god I sound like Jay it looks better I think don't you think it looks lovely it, it because of the domed effect, I think it looks even more, I don't know what the word is, more, you tell me what it looks like. It looks more, I don't know. Real. Real, yeah. Real, man. We is, we are skipping it real. And I think that the, um, that vertical ombre goes with the gorgeous rainbow colours that are in the holographic powder as well. That looks amazing. There you are guys, I hope you enjoyed the gorgeous diamond design. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye-bye. Shine bright like a diamond. See, oh, yeah. I'm hip, I know that. Shine bright like a diamond, you know, we had it. It's Rihanna, is it? Yeah. I don't know it's Rihanna. Oh, right, okay. Not that cool then. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, when you wipe off the holographic, isn't it going to wipe off the black paint as well? Or are you going to... Oh my God. Paint yeah. on? Just watch and learn, Adam. Watch I and learn. I just thought you would have mapped out things in gel and... doesn't matter. Yeah, you should. Sure?